In this video, you will learn how to create Windows logo in Blender. Blender version 2.80 is being used while making this video. Let's start by deleting this cube. Click to select this cube and press X and enter to delete. Add in a plane by pressing Shift plus A, Mesh, Plane. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Zoom it with mouse wheel up. Scale it on X axis by pressing S, 0.4 and enter. Scale it on Y axis by pressing S, Y, 0.38 and enter. Zoom it and press Tab to enter edit mode. To add a loop cut, press Ctrl plus R keys on the keyboard. When you see a yellow vertical line, left click to confirm cut and right click to release. Move this edge on Y axis by pressing G. Y, 0.25 and enter. Come over here and click this little middle icon to activate edge selection tool, click this right edge to select it, move it on Y axis by pressing G, Y, 0.15 and enter. Now add a loop cut here by pressing Ctrl plus R keys, click to confirm cut, move your mouse pointer all the way right and click to place it there. Add another loop cut here and move it to the left. Add a horizontal cut here and move it down and finally add a cut and move it up like this. Press tab to return back to object mode. Come down here and click on this modifier icon, click on add modifier and click subdivision surface modifier. Set render value 3, and viewport value 2. Now duplicate this object by pressing Shift plus D, move your mouse to view the duplicate object and right click to release. Move it on the Y axis by pressing G, Y, 0.88 and enter. Make sure that the upper part of flag is selected, press and hold the Shift key and click this bottom part to add it to the selection. Now press Ctrl plus J keys to join them. Now click on this object button. Click Set Origin and Origin to Geometry. Duplicate this again by pressing Shift plus D. Rotate this duplicate item in X axis by pressing R, X, 180 and Enter. Rotate it on Y axis by pressing R, Y, 180, and Enter. Zoom with mouse wheel and pan with Shift plus middle mouse button to see this gap better. Click on this move icon to activate moving hands, click and drag this green arrow up until this gap disappears. Zoom out with mouse wheel down, move it on the X axis by pressing G, X, 0.91 and enter. Press and hold the shift key and click this left part of the flag to add it to the selection. Now press Ctrl plus J keys to join them. Now click on this object button. Click Set Origin and Origin to Geometry. Press Shift plus S keys on the keyboard and click on Selection to Cursor. Rotate this flag on Z axis by pressing R, Z, minus 15.8 and Enter. Press Ctrl plus A keys and apply all transforms. Pan the view to position it to the center. Activate the shading options by pressing Z key on keyboard and click on Look Dev. Come here and click on this render icon and change this from EV to Cycles. Now click this material icon, and click New. Click this little circle here and select Emission. Click this white color tab and make sure that all RGBA values are set to 1. Click this little down arrow and click on Copy Material. Click this plus icon, click New. Click this down arrow and click Paste Material. Now click this white color tab, reduce these green and blue values down to zero and click on Viewport to hide it. Click this plus icon, click New, click this down arrow and click Paste Material. Now click this white color tab, reduce these red and blue values down to zero and click on Viewport to hide it. Click this plus icon, Click New, click this down arrow and click Paste Material. Now click this white color tab, 
reduce these green and red values down to zero and click on viewport to hide it. Click this plus icon, click new, click this down arrow and click paste material. Now click this white color tab, reduce this blue value down to zero and click on viewport to hide it. Press tab to enter edit mode. In viewport area, press A key twice to deselect everything. Move your mouse pointer to the first part of the flag and press L key to select link geometry. Select this red material and click assign. In viewport area, press A key twice to deselect everything. Move your mouse pointer to the second part of the flag and press L key to select link geometry. Select this green material and click assign. The same way assign blue and yellow materials. Press tab to exit edit mode. Press Z key on keyboard and click wireframe. Press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Press shift plus D keys to duplicate it and right click to release. Press and hold the control key and drag this blue arrow one grid line upward. Rotate the view with middle mouse button. Come back here in the material section and remove these materials except white one clicking this minus icon. Now press Z, and select Rendered. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Pan the view and position it to the center. Move your mouse pointer to the top right corner of the viewport area, when you see a plus icon, click and drag to the left to split view like this. Click this editor type drop down and click on Shader Editor. Press N key to hide right side panel. Zoom and pan the editor making more space to the left. Click and drag this point to disconnect it and click and drag this little bit down. Add a transparent shader by pressing shift plus A, shader and transparent, and place it here. Add a mixed shader by pressing shift plus A, shader and mixed shader, and place it in between. Add a gradient texture by pressing shift plus A, texture and gradient texture. Add a texture coordinate by pressing shift plus A, input and texture coordinate. Now connect this shader of the mixed shader to the surface of the material output. Connect this transparent BSDF to the first shader of mixed shader. Connect this emission to the second shader of mixed shader. Connect the color of gradient texture to the FAC of mixed shader. Change this gradient type to quadratic sphere. And finally connect object of texture coordinate to the vector of gradient texture. You can control the depth of this white emission layer with math node. Pan your view to the left, move these two nodes to the right like this. Add math by pressing shift plus A, converter and math and drop it on the top connection. Change this from add to power, and change this value to 1.5. Now click and drag the top corner of the viewport to the right to collapse shader editor. Press Z key and select look dev. Add in a circle by pressing shift plus A, mesh, and circle. Expand this last operation box and set the vertices value to 12 and click on viewport to hide it. Select the circle and scale it up by pressing S, 1.65 and enter. Press tab for edit mode. Make sure that all edges of circle are selected, press E key to extrude, press S to scale, press 0.85 for scaling value and press enter. Again press E, S, 0.85 and enter. Now press F key to fill the interface. Click on this material tab, and click new. Click on this little circle here and change this to glossy BSDF. Click on this white color tab, click on hex button and set the hex value 0, 0, A, 2, F, F, and press enter and change this roughness value to 0.25. Click this DAO arrow and select copy material. 
Click this plus icon, click on new, click this down arrow and click on paste material, and change this roughness value to 1. Come up here and click this face selection tool to activate it, press and hold the alt key and click this area to select entire ring of outer faces. Make sure that second material is selected and click assign. Now add a loop cut here by pressing Ctrl plus R keys and push it all the way out. Add another loop cut here and bring it in like this. Press tab to exit edit mode. Come down here and click on this modifier icon, click add modifier and click subdivision surface. Set render value to 3, and viewport value to 2. Come to the viewport, press Z key and select wireframe or you can change it back to solid view. Press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Zoom it little bit, and move this circle little bit down by pressing G, Z, minus 0.04 and enter. Press 7 on number pad for top view, zoom out a bit and switch to rendered view pressing Z key. Come up here to the outline section and click light to select it, click this little square icon if it is not already activated. Set X location value to minus 1.5. Set Y location value to 1.5 and set Z location value to 3 meters. Come down here and click this bulb icon and make sure that the values are set like this. Now go back to the outliner section and select camera. Click this object icon, set X location value to 0, Y location value to 0, Z location value to 10 and X and Z rotation values to 0. Come here and press 0 on the number pad for camera view. Come here and click this world icon, click this color tab and drag this little point all the way down to make background dark. Now click this layer icon, scroll this panel down and check this denoising box. Come over here to render menu, and click render image. Rendering process has been started. When rendering is finished, you can save this image by clicking image menu and save as. And this was a short tutorial about how to make Windows logo in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and leave a comment.